in the last uh, video tutorial we uh, discussed how we can integrate our MATLAB with Code Composer Studio uh, we tried some uh, examples that are already available in the Simulink and uh, we made a simple example of uh, uh, analog to digital converter and uh, digital to analog converter so, and we also discussed uh, some, something about uh, MATLAB command so in this video uh, we are going uh, uh, more inside the Simulink and uh, we are going to make the filters uh, different filters like uh, uh, FIR and IIR uh, and uh, using the different uh, windowing uh, we can make these uh, filters and uh, the same tool which we used earlier in the tutorial filter design and analysis tool of the Simulink uh, that can be used to design the filters in the Simulink so uh, uh, for that uh, we have to click on uh, start and uh, open the MATLAB uh, Simulink's uh, library so here go into the library browser so now uh, in this uh, library browser our first thing is to search about the DSK contents uh, means uh, the blocks for the DSK so for that in the search uh, just write uh, uh, 6713 and press enter so it will search uh, all uh, the uh, uh, models for this uh, Simulink as we are using C6713 DSK so uh, we have to open this C6713 DSK we have to right click here and uh, add to the current model we don't have current model right now so it will ask us to create a new one so press OK now it's asking for the configuration for this kit so uh, the configuration means uh, that uh, the name to the processor the name to the kit it's already uh, if we talk about the default it's a uh, CPU 1 uh, and uh, 0 for the processor so uh, we are going to use the default configurations here yes and uh, then after uh, this is the DSK uh, uh, model so we can uh, place it somewhere outside here so our next thing is to uh, have the ADC from where we will get the real time data and uh, for that just click here and uh, one thing we can also use the reset the reset can be used uh, s uh, we can just put it somewhere in uh, in the model and uh, next thing we need is the ADC and GAC one ADC we can have the ADC somewhere here and DAC to listen the output you can have the DAC here and in between in between we need the filter means uh, whatever the data is coming on the ADC that's uh, going to the DAC but uh, uh, inside uh, in between there is a filter model that will filter the frequencies now we need the uh, uh, FDA tool filter design and analysis tool for that uh, just simply go into the signal processing toolbox so here in the signal processing uh, block set we have the filters adaptive filters and the filter designs uh, so we have to go for the filter designs in this we have the digital filter design this is the FTA tool we can we have to just take this model and we have to put it somewhere or we can put it in the middle of these two and uh, connect this the wire of this with the wire of this and the wire of this so now uh, whatever the data is coming that will be filtered and uh, will listen to uh, us on the DSC so in the FTA tool we can click enter and we can configure the FTA tool means if we want to use the FIR filter if we want to use the IIR filter uh, whatever the method uh, we want to use design method what's the order and everything we can set here so you can see here that uh, we can use the low pass, high pass, band pass, band stop these filters and uh, we can use uh, FIR or IIR whatever the filter we want suppose we are going to make you uh, use the IIR filter suppose we want to use high uh, high pass IIR filter so in the high pass IIR we are going to use uh, suppose order to be minimum the frequency specification the sample frequency is 48 so yeah forever is 48 so frequency stopping frequency it should be uh, if it's a high pass so uh, we can stop around 3 3000 hertz 3 kilohertz and we can pass the frequencies uh, which is more than 48 this one 4500 
so we can uh, design this filter so now our design is ready and we can close this uh, so now uh, I'm going to put the audio of the kit to the laptop so that we can listen the output of the filters clearly uh, and in between I will change the FTA tool and uh, will listen uh, whatever uh, the changes are being done in the filters uh, and will listen it with the kit so uh, So like this we can uh, uh, change the configuration of the diff uh, filters uh, by just uh, changing uh, d done into the, uh, the same link and uh, uh, we can design the different filters and we can analyze all the uh, their uh, uh, responses, frequency responses and their magnitude responses. Thank you.